News Talk Breakfast. Good morning and welcome to News Talk Breakfast with me, Ivan Yates, and Chris Dunnett. Thanks, Ivan. All eyes on Brussels this morning. But first, let's get news headlines with Cathy Madden. Good morning. The Finance Minister will meet the EU Commissioner, who is responsible for the approval of... 16 people came to Dublin in search of a job. They've come to battle it out to be Bill Collins' apprentice. You guys and girls are the generation that grew up as Celtic Tiger Cubs, and that era is over. One of Ireland's most successful businessmen, self-made multi-millionaire and inner city boy done good. He's offering the successful candidate a six-figure salary. It was disrespectful. It was abuse. To get the job, they'll have to work and live together for 13 relentless weeks, each week facing a tough business task. There is no strategy involved here. There is strategy and there is relationships being involved in this room. This is the ultimate job interview. You are fired. You are fired. You're fired. Last week on The Apprentice, both teams had to design a bus shelter campaign for We Ireland. Lovely presentation, but can we see the ad? Oh, yep, yeah, sorry. Project manager Barry led his design team. The blue is shite. Red. Red stands out but felt that Caroline didn't contribute. I think everybody worked hard. It's just that they worked harder. A little bit, yeah. That's and all. she became the fifth casualty of the boardroom. Caroline, you're fired. Okay. Thank you. It's not camping. I'm so uh, happy not. I do not do camping wet or soggy. It seems like the task for me. I just packed my bag. But that wasn't the Greek army, so just give us a knife and I'll make sure nobody comes back apart from myself. Summoned to meet Bill early on a Saturday morning, the remaining 11 candidates await their sixth task. Fusion Elevate, good morning. Good morning. Last week, we tested your marketing skills and your media planning. And I want you to take those lessons learned and move it up a gear. And with that in mind, I'll pass you over to the marketing director of Ford Ireland, Joanne Sheehan. Thank you, Bill. This year, Ford is launching a campaign called the Fiestaval Movement. It's taking the recently launched Ford Fiesta and presenting it to the younger car buying audience. To kick off the Fiestaval movement, Ford is running a competition called One Festival, 50 Friends. It's open to anyone on Facebook to win tickets for 50 of their Facebook friends to the Irish music festival of their choice during 2011. To be in with a chance to win, you just upload a photo of your ultimate party moment. So here is your task. To design and create a calendar for the new Ford Fiesta that perfectly captures this ultimate party moment. You will each have your own music festival and will be responsible for all aspects, including photography. You will also be provided with a new Ford Fiesta. Bear in mind this car is fun, stylish and energetic and we want you to reflect this in the calendar. Good luck. Now there's no doubt that this is a fun task but you have to put a serious business message behind it. Not only do you have to convince Joanne that you absorbed her brief, but with my passion for cars, you better impress me as well. When I see you all together again, it's going to be in my boardroom where one of you will be fired. Two teams and two completely different music festivals. The perfect backdrop to capture their ultimate party moments. Elevate will be heading to County Offaly and Castle Palooza, one of Ireland's most popular music festivals. 
while Fusion will be in County Westmeath at one of Ireland's newest events, the Athlone Music Festival. With a Dublin-based graphic designer on day two, each team has just 48 hours before they must present their completed calendars to Ford. But first, a long car journey and ample time to start brainstorming. If you think, if we, if we think of the key memories or the key points of a festival, and then we can work the car into it. The way my first idea right was to do like a storyboard, as in each month is like. That's exactly what I'm thinking. As I'm in preparing for each festival. Prepare, yeah. The car has to be there because I had about ten images yeah. in my head during the brief, and then I was like, how do you fit the car in and that? One thing I say on this task is I want to go on the creative side. I learned from last week. Yeah. All the logistics in the world aren't going to win the task. The creative oh, task, to create, and yeah. I'm not going on the other side anymore. Can we? Can we a group? Please. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's oh. boiling. They have squeezed me here with their hoochie mamas. <laughs> Ow. With candidates responsible for taking their own photographs, they must ensure that all participants are over 18. And to lead each team, Bill has requested that they pick a candidate who has yet to project manage a task. I definitely think that I've got experience kind of creating the marketing catalog before, so I think I've got the experience that you need to, to make sure we get this one on the, on the button and get it right and win. I would strongly like to put myself forward for PM for this one. We're really strong. I wanted to lead the team regardless of the task mm. this week. Do you want to put it to a vote? Yeah. Okay, so Sarah wins by 4 to 2. Okay, cool. Right. Leading okay. Elevate as they go for their fifth win will be 30 year old Sarah O'Neill from Dublin. Being ambitious can sometimes be a double edged sword. If you measure that and kind of use it in moderation, I think you can, um, you can work ambition into, you know, into being a positive rather than a negative. So first I think I want to start with the time management of this. I think that's the key to getting this nailed in this task. Who wants to be on the team taking the photographs? I would really like to take the photos. I would love to direct the shots anyway this time okay. rather I'd than like take them. Although working with an extra team member, one of Elevate is suffering from an injury. I think I slept with the window open last night and it was a bit cold and I, I woke up in a cold sweat and I, I can't move my neck. I've taken too many painkillers and I feel a little bit <laughs> light. So, yeah, it's all good. I think if you're insistent on being on the creative side, which will be your stronger side, I think it's too much for you to take on to be PM as well. So I'd prefer if it was myself or Will, and I'd like to take it, to be honest. I'd, I'd go with yeah, Jay exactly. because he just seems to be more kind of passionate about this one. I that's that's really fair enough. Are we all agree that Jay's going with it? Guys, I'm yeah. telling you, one from five, we're, this is it, we're going to change it from Fusion here now. There's no way I'm going back into that boardroom again. I guarantee we'll push this through, all right? And hoping to end Fusion's losing streak will be 29-year-old property consultant Jamie Moran. It's been a very tough time to know that um, I went from three years ago being very set up and having the means to enjoy the finer things in life to today um, really kind of just kind of trying to get back to zero and trying to kind of pay off debts. I've stayed positive and I've worked, I've worked through the problems and, um, you know, we're nearly back, we're nearly there. After their car journey brainstorms, Fusion have come up with two main concepts. So we have our seasonal one or our storyboard, which literally based around the whole festival. I, to be honest, I think that this, we should stick to the storyboard and try and keep this as simple for ourselves as in an easy uh, for ourselves. So if we go with the storyboard and if everyone's behind it, which I think everyone is, I just think every single picture needs to be... It needs to be a money shot. party moment. Yeah. Party With their graphic designer starting at 9am tomorrow, the teams are keen to get photographs taken today and uploaded overnight. Just on that, so Jay, they did say out. that each photo might take 10 minutes to send. So, okay. so we we'll can't be sending anything that big, just no. quite rare. So we'll, we'll be, have to be very selective, have to be very yes. selective. in our images. Yeah. So. So that two means options yeah. max of each picture. We've got the tent one, everyone knows what it is on the desk. Yeah. 3.30. Elevate have decided to go with a desktop spiral bound calendar. So is everyone like this? Yeah. I'm not really into it, no. Okay, time is ticking. Do you know I what know I mean? time so is ticking, but if the foundation is wrong, there's nothing any of us can do. That's a fair point. Like if we say, oh yeah, we're going to go in and present a spiral yeah. calendar, what's unique about that? Do you want that? to get on the computer maybe yeah. see if you can find something kind of... Can Sarah's been chosen as project manager and she's actually doing a very good job. Najat is contributing nothing to the task. She comes across with no ideas and absolutely disagrees with anything that she doesn't like. So the plastic stand-up I like. I'd I'm, say that's my favourite. I'm against those. I, they were brought into work by a sponsor and everyone threw them in the bin because they were just nobody, not one person had them on the desk. The weakest player on the team at the moment is probably Najat. On numerous occasions she went back after we'd taken the democratic vote and I'm not even sure if she knew 
why she was kind of interjecting and coming up with arguments. Like Ford, whether it be Merck, they always highlight the top of the range features as well. To link the Ford Fiesta to their calendar, Elevate decide to illustrate a unique selling point with each party moment. So, okay, the first one is Park Assist, yeah? Yeah. yeah. And what is that going to be a photograph of? Park Assist, Dave. Somebody who, like, we went for drinks, somebody who's backing up, and you have somebody behind them going, whoa. Okay, you know perfect. I, mean? I think Dave is, is doing a really good job. Obviously, his experience in car sales and the fact that he's just really getting into the creative side, he's playing a blinder at the moment. Does that have the car in it? Um, which one? So the first three don't have the car in it? Mm hmm do you think the car needs to be in every single image? Because that's not going to be your moments of having a car in it. I'm not going okay. to be able to get every image around the car. So we, we, we're going to leave the car to some images? Well, we, it, yeah, try as best you can, but I do think it would look ridiculous if we, if we incorporate it into every single yeah. photo. 5 p.m. And armed with a camera and a list of photos, both teams are ready to leave their hotels. With every member of Fusion making their way to the Athlone Music Festival, just one half of Elevate are Castle Palooza bound. And awaiting their arrival is the star of the calendar, fixed to a podium and on display. Sorry, excuse me. Sorry, do you have a second? We're just shooting a calendar for Ford Fiesta, and we're looking for someone like you just to take a photograph of. Is it, would you be okay to do that? Yes, I probably look Immediately. Michelle spots someone who she wants to demonstrate one of their 12 unique selling points, stylishness. I'm really disappointed that I'm not project manager for this task, but there was a vote and Sarah won the vote, so hopefully next time I'll get a BPM on a task. I'm happy doing what I'm doing and it's fun shooting here, but um, there are a couple of things that are a bit stressful at the moment. People here are drunk and people here are partying and they're having a good time and it's loud and we can't direct, that they're not models or actors, we can't say, oh, you know, do this and, and make it look natural. I like that one. It doesn't scream festival, but you it's see, still I'd festival rather her in the crowd. As they start to get through their list, Sarah and Dave are back in the hotel brainstorming more ideas. We had another look over the list and I want a couple of extra shots, please. Sorry, you're going to have to speak louder because it's really, really loud here, Sarah. So I want the girl, so a girl or a guy sliding in the mud. OK, there's no mud, Sarah. So sliding in general? Slipping, just so just sli slipping. slipping then, OK? Then the other one I want to see is if we can talk to the Like either a big guy or a big girl getting a little tiny espresso. So like a big guy, little green. OK, say that one more time, I really can't hear you. OK, can you go somewhere a little quieter, no? In Athlone, after stocking up on props from a local joke shop, Fusion arrive at their music festival. It's nice, isn't it? With a plan to get 12 ultimate party moments all involving the car, they are straight down to business. Doing fancy getting your photograph taken in a beautiful fiesta, glasses on, loads of balloons, and you'll be in a calendar. <laughs> it means that you're having a party, so in your little fiesta, right? As if you won it. Imagine that you won it, yeah. However, with crowds not expected to arrive until later in the evening, festival goers are a little thin on the ground. I'm going to call you my love the couple. Is that OK? The concept at the moment is a bit sketchy. There's not a lot of people here. I want to get 12 shots, but I mean, I want 12 good shots and I don't fucking shite. You start proposing any time soon, eh? Yes. <laughs> I'm working on it. You're working on it. Very good, very good. We need to do something. We can't just take pictures of this car sitting like that now. This is the calendar for Ford. Like, you know, a monkey could do that, you know? Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, do that again. Do that again. Go on, do it again. Go on. Yeah, I'm a bit cranky maybe at this stage of the day because uh, we're, we're trying to do a festival shot with up to 50 people and like, including stewards and Gardaí, there's about 37 people here, so... I'm just looking around, there's actually more stewards than there is people. Anyway, we thought the place would be flooded with people here and we'd just be literally having people queuing up to do photos with us, but it's just not that way. Like. Oh, that's nice, yeah, I like that. Go on, do that again. But with the day drawing to a close, time is running out for both teams. They have to have everything in by 5.30 tomorrow evening, but they have to send the shots through the day because they can't send 30 shots all in once because it'll take too long. So there'll be absolute panic if they really don't get themselves now working at this stage. Just look forward. 
I do think that we should kind of push the boundaries now and just kind of get rid of the car and try to get some really good party photographs instead. I just hope it's going as badly for the other team as it is for us. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be back in the boardroom again. <laughs> you know? And at Castle Palooza, 